We don't need to go over it all the way. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Listen. Get out of the road. Jonas Correa was tackled, maced, and is now charged with two catch-alls, resisting and disorderly, for filming the actions of Northampton, Massachusetts police employees. Join us this Friday, April 12th, to stand with Jonas Correa. Send a message to police employees that it's not acceptable to assault someone who's simply filming their actions. From 6 to 7 p.m., we'll be at the local burger in Northampton just to meet each other and brainstorm and strategize. And then at 7 p.m., we're going to hit the streets, do some cop blocking, and do some outreach. So just a little bit of background. This incident happened on April 1st. Apparently, Northampton police were summoned to a bar named Tolly's after another patron, whose birthday it was, refused to leave the bar in what they say was a timely manner. When the police arrived, they tried to escort that person to the door, and they claim he shoved and pushed a bar employee. Jonas Carrera was outside at the time. He used his cell phone to document the police actions. Fortunately, the incident was recorded by another passerby. That footage objectively shows that Korea didn't act aggressively, and in fact, it was the Northampton police employees who were in the wrong. Korea was immediately approached and told by a Tolly's bouncer to get the fuck out of here. Less than five seconds later, he was maced by a Northampton police employee, Alan Bor Borski. We don't need to go over it all the way. Korea has already pled not guilty to those catch-alls levied at him, and he's going to be supported by the Western Massachusetts branch of the ACLU. Get out of the road! My question to you is what kind of reality would you prefer? One where the continued unaccountability for those wearing badges is the norm, or one where we can look out for each other? For more on the situation, check out coplock.org slash coplockingnorthampton, or on Facebook, search for coplocking Northampton, or go to facebook.com slash coplock and click on events. Also tomorrow, April 11th, the Justice for Jonas Coalition is meeting at Butternut 12 Long Meadow Road in Amherst from 6 to 8 p.m. I'm sure if the video didn't exist, the Northampton police employees would have been able to keep this thing on the DL for uh, much longer and much uh, more restrictive than they already have. But the more we uh, call them out individually as being the aggressors, uh, the more they're going to be held responsible and the less this is going to continue to happen.